Good morning team. Today we're going to be resting around with this chlorinator. This chlorinator is by AccuTab. And what this guy does is it takes the pucks. Sometimes you can see those pucks. You know, most of the time you see them in like backyard pools. But this is a special puck. The kind you get from most like Walmart, things like that, you're going to get what's called trichlor. This is not trichlor. Or you can get dichlor as well. But this is not that. This is what we call calcium hypochlorite. It's a much cleaner product. It's a non-stabilized chlorine. Um, trichlor is typically a stabilized chlorine. So what we have going on here is the pump down here is dead, locked up on us. So we're gonna replace that motor today, all right? Let's talk about how this works. You can see there's two valves right there going on a small Y strainer right there. Water comes in through here, coming from the post filter pump. I have a post, I have a uh, pump on the, on the main line coming from the filter. Um, it's a two inch pump, like a two and a half horsepower, something like that. Anyway, pushes water through here. And what happens is when the chemtrol, I showed you the chemtrol earlier, when the chemtrol calls for chlorine, You'll see what it does. You follow the piping. There's a pipe that goes here, goes right there. It's on that little toilet plunger thing. What it does is there's water always coming through here, and that'll pump up and it'll keep the tank full so the pump doesn't run dry, right? When it calls for chlorine, though, it opens up this new, uh, actuator valve and pushes water through the bucket here and it hits the coals we call it the coals but it's really just the uh it's really just the chlorinator all right i'm gonna pause for a second because of the noise hold on a second all right continuing where i was at water passes the coals or the tablets starts to erode them this is an erosion feeder goes and it makes a slurry and that slurry sits in the tank all right now what happens here is might look a little in crazy but what it does very simple so it's getting 110 volts from the chlorinator right and that comes in right here so that 110 volts turns on this relay it hits up this relay right here the relay does a couple things it turns uh, this contactor on which is the contactor for the for the big black motor there and it also sends power to the uh, actuator there right a couple things also is there's safeties behind it of course it's got fuses and stuff like that but these little guys right here right here okay so the bottom one if it gets knocked it shuts off this one shuts off that one right and then the top one if it gets hit by water it floats it turns on this little guy this little guy is a bypass relay bypass uh, on the con off this relay. So what it does is it actually turns the contactor on turning the pump on here for 15 seconds roughly 10 to 15 seconds. So if, if there's water bypassing this valve here or this one and it keeps filling it's going to go ahead and, and pump the water out so it doesn't overfill the tank and now you have slurry all over the floor and that's a no bueno, right? So that's exactly how this works. Very simple uh, the wiring looks a little crazy, but it's very simple. These used to be a lot smaller boxes, but we've, uh, not we, I'm not going to say we, uh, Legend has been so kind and gracious to go ahead and rebuild these boxes for us. And they look fantastic, a lot easy, easier to work in. So, all right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pull this pump. Let's do this.
Here we go. Motor is sitting on the on the table on the workbench. Now we just need to get her apart. Now I personally have not done one of these pumps and motors. Legend's always the one that actually takes care of these. However, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a whack at it, if you will, and see if uh, I can make this work good today. Now we have had an issue with the with the seal here, so that's something I'm going to mess with and see if I can get it right. I do have a brand new seal, hopefully, and. Uh, yeah, let's see what she does. Join me. Well now, that wasn't too bad. I got caught up here a little bit trying to figure out what, how the seal actually worked. Um, this one definitely seeing some better days. Uh, what's interesting is it looks backwards compared to what the seal that I just put in is. So hopefully it's not a big deal. Um, I had never seen this side to have the that that part. It's usually the the white part. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Hey, I don't know these like really well. We'll see. It's all we can do. Put it in as best as I could. It's got a. It's very tight. The pump is. So I'm. I'm feeling pretty good about it. That means it's making contact with the seal. So I'm. I'm. I'm pretty happy. So. Oh, I gotta get the back on here in a second. But let's get her stabbed in. Well, now pumps all stabbed in. We're all wired back up. I'm gonna go and take off the lotto and get uh, some water in the surge in the uh, slurry tank. We'll test this pump out real quick. Well, we're back here. I've already taken the uh, lotto off the breaker. Let's see if we're at least getting the motor to turn. Yep, motor's turning. Sounds good. Let's get a little water in here. I'm gonna try, I, I need to make sure that's all the way open. I'm gonna close it. I do not want to have chlorine water. You know, I don't want to make the slurry come out, right? I just want it to fill up the tank. It's gonna fill up the tank through via that pipe right there. Let's see. Help check all my seals, etc. Ah. It's gonna have a little bit of a slurry. Hopefully it's not too bad. A little bit of the residual chlorine sitting at the bottom of the tank. It's okay. It's okay. Here we are. Got her all tested up. She's working really good. Okay, you can see the water coming out of there, right? That's the water coming out of the uh, out of here, from here. It's going over the coals and it's uh, creating a slurry into the tank. The tank's now being pumped out by the motor and pump that we just repaired and going back to the pool. So she's all good to go. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care guys.